Okay, Zach here with service training again and with the Symbio service and installation app. And in this video, we're gonna talk a little bit about alarms. Something has happened in the controller and it's gonna let us know what that is. So if you might remember back to earlier controller days, you know, maybe we got some blink codes, it flashed at us a couple times and then uh, we counted the flashes and maybe that meant that a couple of things might have happened or it was flashing and we got this list of like 22 things that could have occurred and then we kind of had to go, what now? Um, we had to try and narrow that list down. Uh, being a, a BACnet and a points-based controller, now with Symbio 700, we get some actual like clear language diagnostics. So let's, uh, from the home screen, let's just head over to alarms. And here we have the alarms page. And at the very top, we've got, you know, one active alarm and we could just simply click on that. And uh, our occupancy input BAS uh, has an alarm going on because it's not seeing the state that it wants to see right now, that that point is an alarm. So we would need to go and see what's going on with our occupancy input. Um, from the BAS system. Now I've taken the unit out of BAS control, so hopefully we'll be able to, uh, to reset that, but a little more on that in a bit. Couple other things we can do. Uh, we can actually sort our alarm history and see what's going on. And this unit, just so you know, I've, I've actually power cycled and reset this controller several times today, uh, making some of these videos. So it remembers some of those earlier alarms that I created and even some alarms from last week. So unlike some uh, previous generation controls where, you know, if we cycle the power, we're going to lose the blink code. We're going to lose the, the flash code that we, that we get. This controller is actually going to remember those alarms and give us some history. So we can sort by a couple different things. We've got severity. So how important is this alarm? And we've got four categories here, basically. We've got the red stop sign with the exclamation point. That's critical. That's like pretty important stuff. Uh, generally gonna be things that lock out the unit or lock out a circuit. Of course, looks like we've had a lot of fun with that compressor one proving circuit. So there's your critical. Service required is, eh, it's kinda, yeah, it's important stuff. We need to really you know, check it out. It, it requires some service, but it may not be, you know, something that's going to lock out or prevent the unit uh, for op from operating. Some things may, some things may not. Outdoor air temp, eh, it, we need to know that, but it's not going to keep us from working necessarily. Phase monitor status, um, where was that? So if that's, you know, not normal, that's gonna be an indication that we can't run. Um, so we've got lots of fun here with uh, the outside air temperature and the phase monitor, uh, unit communications failure. So this, you know, we were obviously playing with that and this unit, you know, lost communication um, at some point. So just general service required, important information, things we need to look at things that could become a major problem, uh, but they're not quite there yet. Uh, the next one is advisory, and unfortunately I don't have any advisory alarms, but again, those are gonna be, hey, here's something that's going on, here's a, here's a condition or something that occurred. Uh, I wanna let you know that has happened, but it's, you know, it's not something you need to rush up on the roof and, and look at or rush out to the unit and look at. And then we've got informational and that literally is just that is information so obviously today i've been playing around making some videos so we've had some controller resets um throughout uh throughout the process here uh we had some stuff with the space temperature bas i was playing with earlier in another video i think uh maybe if you checked that one out when we were going through settings i changed the unit from bas to um, local control and vice versa. So that's probably where we got some information from there or some informational. Um, these real, I, they're diagnostics, but they're, they're really just their information. This thing happened. 
Uh, we got a demand limit request. It's active. It's not really a diagnostic. It's just saying, hey, this happened at this time and on this date. Uh, looks like on uh, May 3rd at 1.26 p.m., we had a low circuit one low pressure control trip. Hmm. So, and then at 1.18, we had that uh, as well. And we keep going back. And then at 11.39, uh, all right there on, on May 3rd, um, 11.31 again on May 3rd. So from 11.31 up to 1.26, I, uh, I had something going on with the low pressure control on that particular day. And if I had shown up to the unit on that day and I'd seen that, I would have been like, hmm, right here in diagnostics, low pressure, yes, it's a diagnostic, but it's it, this is some information and then that low pressure control reset and then we got so an, another trip so we got some more information and then it reset so uh, what this is telling us is it went back to normal and it went back to normal and it went back to normal and it went back to normal again so obviously it tripped that would be up in a probably a critical diagnostic and then this is just information saying it went back to normal so you can use this diagnostic log or these diagnostics to help troubleshoot. And again, it's no more, you know, here's a flash code and here's a list of 22 things that could have happened. It's actually gonna tell you, no, at uh, 420, on April 27th, 2022 at 10.30 a.m., the outdoor air temperature went back to normal. Um, it looks like on 426 at 6.37 a.m., the compressor two proving trip went back to normal. Okay, so it's it gives us a date, it gives us that time, we can go through it and see what's going on with the controller, what's happening. So I'll go ahead and touch back to alarms. So there's your colors and your classifications, critical, service required, advisory, and informational, how many alarms we have, and then you can further uh, go through and filter these. You could actually come up here and hit date. So here's the alarms that happened today. It's all those controller resets. Nothing too crazy. Uh, nothing happened yesterday because I can tell you this thing wasn't plugged in yesterday. Uh, but earlier in the week, we had some stuff going on. And again, we had some resets that would be including today, 516. Uh, nothing happened last week because I wasn't here and this controller wasn't plugged in. And so we don't have anything from last week. And then older is anything older. So now we're going back to early May. There's that diagnostic uh, compressor one proving lockout on May 3rd. We see a green check mark. That means it has been acknowledged. And then we've got some demand limit requests. We got some more of that low pressure going back to normal. Um, we, oh, we, there's, here's these uh, proving lockouts, proving lockouts, proving lockouts while that low pressure control. What do we got going on or why was that proving lockout not making on April 27th? So we can definitely go in up oh, it looks like April 26th we had some issues with it too. And again, the green check marks on the right-hand side here, that, that alarm or that diagnostic has been acknowledged. Okay, so again, it's really good. We can use this to go through and troubleshoot, and it gives us a nice clear language way of uh, determining where to start, maybe where to go look at our troubleshooting. Uh, the last filter we have here is source, so we can just cabinet unit, or cabinet unit, condensing unit one, I'll, that's what I named the controller in an earlier video. Space temperature BAS, that caused this informational uh, alarm to come through that basically says it went back to normal. Uh, this 21040210, that was the original name of the controller based on the serial number. And then outside air temp, oh, here's that proving lockout. So there's 16 based on that one. If we want to touch in there, here's all of our
improving lockouts that occurred. Here's our low pressure controls trips going back to normal. Okay. So all kinds of different sources of our diagnostics. So again, in the alarm history, we can filter by severity date and source. We can also click this toggle of acknowledged and any acknowledged alarms would show up there. Go into active alarms and here we go. We got some outdoor air tent BAS, space tent BAS, and occupancy BAS. Well, earlier I went over into settings and I put our unit into BAS control right here. We see the arbitra arbitration method request as BAS. So now we've got some BAS values that are coming into the controller and we're using those. And of course it gives us an informational diagnostic that, hey, this this information came in and this point went back to normal. So those are some active alarms there. So if I wanna reset anything, uh, let's see, I got severe, I can filter severity data source. I can toggle here, acknowledged or not. I can go in here. Now the green check mark means it's already acknowledged. I can touch on it. It tells me it was acknowledged, acknowledgement acknowledged. So we see that information, but we go back to alarms. I don't, what's this little, well, that just refreshes that little arrow. Hmm, how do I do this? How do we reset these alarms? Well, we gotta go over to tools, right? And we gotta make our way over here to service. And then we got this selection, reset diagnostics. And it'll go through and it'll reset any of the diagnostics. Now. If the diagnostics are still present at that time, they're still going to be there, right? So we got these uh, BAS, uh, outdoor air temp, and space temperature uh, informational coming in. And there we go. There's alarms and severities and reset using the service and installation app with the Symbio 700 controller. So again, be sure to like and subscribe to this channel for future content that becomes available. And if you haven't already, go back and check out the rest of the videos in the Symbio 700 service and installation app playlist. And you can find those videos here. Have a good day and see you down the road.